Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul to share with you. Recently my hubby and I went on a couple days road trip and we fit some thrifting in at the beginning and the end of our trip. My husband knows how to make me happy. So he planned out a few stores for us to stop at and the very first store that we stopped at I got a ton of stuff. And then I found a couple other things too at the other stores we went to. So let me show you what I found. The first store was a Goodwill store and I like it when they bag up these bags of goodies and then sell it to you for 99 cents. This particular one has a real cute red, white, and blue hair bow that I thought would be great for my granddaughter. And it's also got a couple cards of these brand new bobby pins and my daughter uses those so those will be great to put in her stocking for next year. Actually for this year because it is 2020. I found this jute cord. This was $1.99 and it's a huge amount of it. It says one pound 100% natural jute cord four ply. So it looks like really good quality. I have no idea what that would sell for in the store, but I know it would be a lot more than $1.99 and it's new in package. Another item I picked up for crafting was this stencil kit. It's, um, let's see, uh, they put the tag right over it, but it was 99 cents and um, it's gothic caps and numbers. So I think that'll be awesome to use for crafting. And I've been trying to um, add to my different seasonal collections that I don't have a lot of items for. And one of those holiday seasons is the patriotic season. And I, I pretty much decorate from Memorial Day through summer for that. And I found this awesome glass this was 99 cents, the magical price. <laughs> and that was also from Goodwill. All of that stuff I showed you so far was from a Goodwill. And then I found this lovely vase. Let's see. I can hold something up behind it so you can see it. Um, it was 99 cents and on the bottom it has a number it says 4092 Hoosier glass. And I haven't finished researching it yet, but I think it might be milk glass. But even if it's not, I still love it to add to my white vase collection. I did find a pair of uh, jean shorts. They were kind of um, really faded, but they have some good wear left in them. I thought they were a little expensive. They were $4 and some change, but my husband needs them and so I'm sure he'll be able to get some use out of those. This little guy I just fell in love with. Look how adorable he is. Came in this bag and this one was $1.99. And he's just a cute little sailor boy. And I thought he would be adorable for decorating for the patriotic season. Look at his little face. Isn't he sweet? So I was glad I saw that. And I'm pretty sure that Somebody recently had a, a doll very similar to that when I was watching their video when they had gone thrifting and I thought, oh, I'll probably never find anything like that. And then there he was. Have you ever seen these jars with the red or orange plastic lids? I think they came back in the day for like, um, I don't know with coffee or something in them and then you whatever it was you buy the product and you get this jar my mom has them and she's given me some and i've also got some from my mother-in-law this one i don't know if you'll be able to see it but the design is a church let me try again to hold something up behind it it's probably just not going to pick up very well but um there's a church on it and on the bottom it actually says church and i just love that I have some that I put nuts in, craisins, 
um, chocolate chips, mostly like baking supplies, but I also have one I use for tea bags. So these are really awesome and they seal really good. So I was really glad to find that and it was 99 cents, which is a good deal. I am always looking for flags from my front porch. So I'll hold this up, but then at the end, I'll, I'll put a big shot of it in at the end and read it for you. Um, it was $2, and it doesn't look like it has any wear on it at all, so that was a good deal. Okay, my last item that I found was at an antique store. And this little piece of paper that I kept holding up, this was in the bag with these adorable vintage Valentines. And I actually had this in my mind that I wanted some. And here they were, there was a bag of them. It says 25 vintage Valentine cards and they were $5. So I'm gonna show you um, the lot of these. I'll lay them out on the floor and if you saw behind me, I've already made a garland for Valentine's Day with some of my favorite ones. So I'll show you these at the end and uh, give you a chance to kind of look them over. So all in all, I was happy with everything I found and um, you just never know what you're gonna find. The thrill of the hunt is what does it for me. And of course, I love to save money and get things that I'll use. So let me insert some clips here of the flag and the Valentine's cards. Here's the flag I got. I'll read it to you. It says, porch rules. Listen to the birds, feel the breeze, have a chat, read a book, put your feet up, sit a spell, relax, and take a nap. Sip a drink and enjoy the day. Here's my Valentine garland I made. I'll give you a little look at each of these. This one says, aiming to make you my Valentine. I'd like to rope you for my Valentine, partner. Hello, sugar, you bowl me over. Be my Valentine. You're my favorite teacher. I'm set to sail in your direction. Will you be my Valentine? I'm just wild about you, Valentine. This one has like a textured shirt and a little heart says, be mine. This one says, you make my temperature rise. Don't cut me out. <laughs> this one says, Valentine, you bowl me over. And the last one here on the garland is, I'd give three cheers if you'd be my Valentine. Does this bring back memories for anybody of the Valentines we used to have in school? And each one of these has a signature on the back as well. Here's the rest of them. This one's one of my favorites. It says, I'd be pleased as punch to be your valentine. This one has a little bit of flocking on it too. I love that. This one's another favorite. Police be my Valentine. I've got you tagged. This one opens up. Aren't they just as sweet as can be? I'm just in love with them. And this one actually has a date on it. It says, 
You're My Honey, Aunt Ruth, 1963. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these fun items that I found. And maybe this will inspire you to get out there and thrift if you haven't lately. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was. And also, if you want to let me know in the comments, I'm interested to know what you guys have found thrifting lately. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. And at the very end, on my end screen, I'll have a couple videos for you to watch in case you've missed them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.